As we take a look at the number 33 car uh, driven by Dakota Armstrong, we want to get back to a question we asked just a moment ago. Now, gentlemen, I know I hope you're not using those phones to look the, up the answer. You need to know this off the top of your head, but I think Phil does. Okay, what state has produced the most winners in the NASCAR Nationwide Series? Not the most different winners, first of all, the most winners. Well, I, I, would, I would say North Carolina. But, uh, but, but you would be incorrect. But I would be incorrect. And since we're since we're asking the question in California, let me guess California. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Phil is no dummy. Okay, Phil is not a big dummy. Uh, because as 60 races in the Nationwide Series have been won by California drivers, but if we go for just different drivers, you are correct there in saying North Carolina. 20 different North Carolinians have won on the Nationwide Series. 12 different Californians. And Mr. Hammond, would you care to guess at the third state? that uh, has had uh, uh, the third and most different winners in the Nationwide Series. Different winner? Yeah, you've gotten, uh, we've, we've been through California for, I mean, uh, North Carolina for the most, California for the second most, and Virginia? Virginia That's what for I the third I would have guessed that too. Ding, ding, yeah. ding, 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 yeah. ding. All right, let's go to a uh, North Carolinian in, the, in and of itself, Bob Dylan with another North Bob's Carolina. Right yeah, and a lot of people that have had, had a lot of success on all the major platforms here in NASCAR, so uh, it's, it's so hard this this series is so hard to be successful in, but you really can increase your odds if you have somebody as talented as, as, as the people you mentioned, the Chris Carriers, the Ernie Copes, and people like that. And Dakota Armstrong is looking to make his first NASCAR Nationwide Series start with Richard Childress Racing, but right now we're going to go check in with Bob Dillon's garage area. You know, and JR, you know, one thing you don't want to overlook, Regan Smith has an opportunity to be able to finish the top five he was talking about trying to get to victory lane if he can do that finish in top five that will means it would be his 100th nascar nationwide top five finish for the seven car and that car is very very consistent when it goes out and right now he is definitely you know doing a great job behind the wheel you know, keeping it up there like it needs to be and another reason why this uh, series is going to be very entertaining to watch all the way down to the wire to see who can win this championship against this level of competition well we had great competition last year and essentially all I can think of that we really lost was Ricky Stenhouse, and he was replaced by Trevor Bain. And then you bring Brian Bickers in here and, and Regan Smith in here. And, and man, what a tremendously talented series this is. Well, and, and the thing is right now, you know, we've always talked about guys like Brian Scott. It's time for him to do something. Now, all of a sudden, he stepped up. Six and, top tens in a row for and, Brian Scott and, for this year. And as good as Sam Hornish was last year, and he was kind of in the thick of it, well, now he's leading the pack. So, you know, you're seeing Johnny a keeping up with the international theme. He is from Germantown, Tennessee. Yeah, certainly <laughs> is. And uh, also comes from a very famous racing family, the Swindells. Big slide job right there with teammates. Dakota Armstrong slide up in front of uh, the two of uh, Brian Scott. A little racy during this practice session. Yeah, yeah. And, but I like it. I like the fact that Brian right now it has a feel for what his car is going to do behind somebody. Dakota is going to have a feel for what his car does in front of somebody. And then you also get a very good look uh, there at how far they can get away from each other on this big racetrack. Well, Dakota Armstrong is making his, uh, is attempting to start his first race for Richard Childress Racing, and Bob has more on that 33. Yeah, 14th quick, Johnny, in this practice session for the 21-year-old out of Newcastle, Indiana. He's a three-time ARCA Racing Series winner. He's on a mock qualifying run right now. He comes from the open wheel ranks in that Indiana area, and this team tells me he has been steadily learning during this practice session, and it's been a work in progress. They have not set the world on fire, but they have been gaining ground, and that's what they're very confident in as you see that car bounce down the back stretch here. Basically, they needed to teach him the line, teach him where to run those bumps and the grooves on the racetrack, and now they felt he was ready for a mock qualifying run. And there's uh, Dakota Armstrong coming off the racetrack after a great mock qualifying run up to third quickest. I think that uh, they were correct when they said, I believe he's ready for a qualifying attempt. I think team. he's ready. I think so. Looks like by the uh, judge of the speed chart. Bobby D is with the driver who just whipped off a really good lap. Bobby? That's right. Third quick for Dakota Armstrong. He gets high fives from his crew down here. First of all, where did that come from? The crew told me you were ready for my qualifying run, and you proved it. Yeah, you know, I, I think we got good speed. It's just um, getting out there first. You know, I was just kind of getting used to it, and it uh, kind of hurt us both the times we put new tires on just because I got in traffic and didn't get a good run, but we felt like we were good there. And um, it was actually, I feel like I left a little on the table just because these cars slow up so much on the long run. You forget how hard you can run it. And uh, so um, definitely when tomorrow, when it's really cool and when we qualify, I think uh, you can run it even a little bit harder and times are going to pick up. So I think our number 33 uh, Winfield Mud uh, Chevy is going to be pretty good. We just got to get a good lap and 
get through the race. What's the most important thing for you to accomplish in tomorrow's race, Dakota? Well, you know, definitely finish, but, you know, I feel like, you know, we're good enough to run, have a good a good finish as well. Um, the biggest thing is we just got to get the balance on a long run, just a tick better. And, you know, that's a little bit of me and a, a little bit of everything. So uh, I think we'll get it tomorrow and we'll have a good show. Uh, Jeff Hammond is telling me in my ear right now, you know, he, he likes to get dirty. He wants to know what Winfield is all about here. Oh, Winfield is an agriculture company uh, we do business with. Uh, you know, they they retail a lot of seed and chemicals to a lot of co-ops throughout the throughout the country. So really glad to have them on. You know, they're uh, helping me out full time in the truck this year. So. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be with us for years now. Well, speaking of the trucks, guys, in a couple of weeks at Martinsville, when we get to the paperclip, they'll be driving Stacy Compton's truck. Yeah, Bob Armstrong is a former Penske Racing Development driver. Now, we mentioned this was his first attempt in uh, a Richard Childress Racing Nationwide car, but he did drive in the final race of last year at Homestead for Turner Scott Motorsports. He's the fourth driver to compete in the 33 this season. They had a lot of success in Cunningham Motorsports cars back in the ARCA Racing Series. At yeah, three time. wins. Yes, they, were Arca. they were affiliated with uh, with Roger Penske. They ran Dodges, as they still do, Cunningham Motorsports. So uh, a nice, uh, bright talent. Nice, bright talent. And I like what he was talking about because it kind of fits right into my farming background. I'm trying to get started with seeds and fertilizers and stuff uh -huh. like that. Well, Daryl says I'm, you just go use rope goats on the farm. Is what, that's what Daryl said. I got news for you. You go ahead and keep listening to Daryl Walker, <laughs> and you'll see exactly what happens to you.